What's going on guys? Now before I start this review, let me talk about Serpent. Now a lot of people have speculated that it is Mon because we've seen part of his face and he does have facial features similar to a Mon from what we've seen. So I did some digging and come to find out there are a lot of stories about this demon named Amon and he's usually depicted as this Serpent Man or an owl man. But more of the time, he's referred to as a serpent man. So I'm pretty sure that this is Amon just because of that. But anyway, let's go ahead and start. As I thought, Musuki has joined the investigators because her entire family has been killed by ghouls. But I did not see that coming that she wanted to be a man simply because she did not want to go on living as a woman. Like, why is this? I mean, was she raped? Is she homosexual? Or what's going on with that? Because she says that I'm not sure why but I don't want to live as a woman anymore so who knows what Musuki's real reason is and Torso's regenerative powers are impressive because correct me if I'm wrong but it seems like Musuki slashes him in the eye then it heals up like that like the very next time we see his eyes it's already fixed but I like how Shirazu and Yuri are on that bike and he says you better hurry your ass up and Shirazu says but I'll break the law I mean come on man he's so simple but badass his Kagane is awesome and OP I mean just so many tentacles come out of nowhere so Yuri and Shirazu are going in and I like how Yuri does like the godfather you know sign to say hey don't fuck with us this is a ghoul we're doing what we're supposed to do and torso just rips off the cops heads before they can even finish their sentence that was really fucked up but this just shows how brilliant Sasaki is putting that blockade there out of all the streets just knowing that torso was going to go there is just genius so this has me believing that he's going to pop up at any time maybe maybe saving Shirazu and Yuri from serpent and serpent just comes out of nowhere and tosses the car like it's a fucking toy and says your investigation is over torso is mine so there's no no doubt going to be a fight over Torso, but just the vibe that I'm getting from Serpent, I'm not sure what it is, but I think he's going to overwhelm Yuri and Shirazu, and then uh, maybe Sasaki is going to have to come in and help out, but I like how Musuki is like, man, these guys are really going in, I can't even bring my Kagane out, but I really enjoyed this chapter, a lot more action in this one, which I am digging, and I just like how Shirazu just kept missing with all of those cognitive like literally how do you miss that many times tell me what you guys thought about this chapter i mean i thought we would get a little bit more into why musuki you know wanted to be a man but you know it's really not necessary towards the plot and hopefully we will see sasuke coming in and helping out in the serpent fight you know we don't even we're not even sure if they need help yet but like i said just the vibe i got from this guy just says hey i'm the big dick around here you better not fuck with me it really seems like this chapter went by kind of fast i'm not sure what it is i mean it's an average length chapter but it's just like the entire chapter was a chase and then when the chase ended that's when the chapter ended so hopefully next time we'll get a little bit more maybe get some sasuke action because i really want to see him reveal his kagane to us and oh yeah i just love how how uh torso since he doesn't have a mask he just pulled his shirt over his head that was hilarious but anyway this has been jb the chiha tell me what you guys think is serpent aman do you believe so like maybe he was uh, taken because his body wasn't found, so maybe he was taken by Dr. Kano and experimented on just like Kaniki was. But who knows, but this has been JB Dutchia. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.